All right, a South Jersey father is facing charges this after he entered a school and confronted a student who had been harassing his daughter. That incident was captured on video. Action News reporter Becca Henderson live for us there in Paulsboro, Gloucester County with more on what we're learning about this situation. Becca. Gray police say that father went into the school to check his daughter out. Instead of going with her, he went up to a classroom and allegedly threatened to punch and knock out a student who police say his daughter was having a dispute with. Apologize to my daughter. This video is part of the police investigation. It appears to show a parent confronting a child at Paulsboro High School. Paulsboro police say the man in this video is 38 year old Aaron Thomas and investigators say he threatens students who are in a dispute with his daughter. About a minute into the video, an adult intervenes and tries to get Thomas to leave. But the situation appears to escalate and Thomas makes physical contact with another student and begins yelling. This happened around 1130 AM Monday at the high school. An affidavit says Thomas came to the school to sign out his daughter who was having problems with another student over photos being airdropped. Instead of leaving with his daughter, Thomas tracked down the other student. He's between a rock and a hard place. Some parents say they get why Thomas is angry. As a father, I can understand exactly what he's what he's saying, what he's doing. But as a also as a father of a child that's in the school to have a stranger to come in to do what he did is also wrong. Later Monday, Thomas was arrested and charged with simple assault, terroristic threats, trespassing and disorderly conduct. That's wrong. The father shouldn't have got arrested. He was protecting his daughter. Some parents who watched the video thought Thomas's response was justified. Others thought he should have gone about the situation differently. He should have went to the principal's office and got with them and pulled the kid out and had his parents in also. And Gray, the superintendent also put out a letter to families saying that the district is cooperating with police. It is worth noting in charging documents, though, it took the school about three hours to call police after this incident happened. Live in Paulsboro, I'm Becca Hendrickson for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray? All caught on camera there. Okay, Becca, thanks for the update. Well,